Good morning, everybody. I hope it's a good one for you. We're here in uh, Tennessee, I believe, south of Nashville. Stopped here for night. We're gonna drive a full day north today, probably ending up in Wisconsin somewhere, I'm thinking. Maybe Minnesota, no, probably Wisconsin, I'm thinking. Somewhere around Black River Falls, I bet. And we got pretty much a full day tomorrow yet, and then just a little bit to do the next day, and we'll be at home. Finally, it's been a long trip, hasn't it? It's been a long trip. Diesel, you wanna go home? Sure, taking your time here with your morning stroll, bud. Loves Travel Plaza. I would love to have some coffee if they have some for me. I've only gone about 45 minutes down the road. I figured I'd stop here, have some breakfast, stretch my legs a little bit. Not too much though. I mean, I haven't been driving that long yet. I just want to quickly run and grab a coffee and some breakfast for the most part. in right here beside these guys this is a big lot wow usually loves aren't this big anybody in there a bunch of bobtails everywhere okay you know how i feel about bobtails i'll just pull in here whatever i'll be lazy and pull through how about that judge me i don't care There's the Batman. There's the Batman. The Batman building. That's where Batman lives. Nashville, Tennessee. A lot of pretty good musicians in this town. So we've only been driving, what, about an hour now? Hour and a half? We got a long way to go. And we're going to be driving late into the night again. I have a feeling that by time we stop tonight it's gonna to be a lot colder it's hot right now it's 27 Celsius out here right now November 7th 2020 27 Nashville you never get to complain about feeling cold okay then again I heard that this warm air is moving up north up to Canada tomorrow it's supposed to be like something like plus 19 in Manitoba. I hope all of you at home soak it up because that's gotta be the last breath of warm air we're gonna have for a long time. It's supposed to get colder again on Monday. And uh, you know, Monday's when we're supposed to get home, so that makes sense. In one kilometer, keep to the right on I-24 West I-65 North. I don't even know how long I've been gone on this trip too long where did we all go again we started at home and we went through northern ontario right into southern ontario oh yeah we delivered uh up there by ottawa right Aspley, ontario the ride on by 24 west i-65 north and we went down to moortown right by uh, michigan there we went back up to waterloo and then we went into the maritimes where we got stuck and we went down to georgia and now we're going home What, three weeks by the time I get home? A little bit too long for my liking. 
two weeks is sort of like where I like to start drawing the line. Like, all right, it's time to start pointing my nose home. Slide left on by 24 West. We just entered Kentucky, and I'm very disappointed. Where's my my banjo band? Welcome. I was promised banjos. I wonder if Kentuckians or Kentuckers or Kentuckites? Kentuckians, I'm guessing. Kentuckian, that sounds the most. That's probably what you call yourselves, right? Kentuckians. I bet you guys get pretty tired of all the stereotypes with the banjos and bluegrass. But maybe not. Maybe you wear it with pride. I don't, I would. I love bluegrass music. I don't care what anyone says about me. I like bluegrass music. It makes me happy. I have a banjo at home. I really need to start practicing it again. I'm not very good. I used to know one song, sort of, but uh, my mom and dad got, got it for me as a gift a couple of years ago, and I need to bring it along with me. It's just I have so little time to play it when I'm on the road here because it's between, you know, getting freight delivered, getting my videos out for you to share where I'm at and what's going on in my life. It's, uh, you know, I just don't have time for everything, but I hope to one day really be able to master it hope so. So yeah, I don't know if you guys get tired of it or not, but hey, I like it. You and your banjos and your horses and your, your southern twangs. I love that accent. I do. <laughs> Good people here. And the grass is still green here, so obviously I like you. Once again, our journey brings us into nightfall. We're here in Illinois, just doing our half hour break right now. And it looks like half the day, it's gonna be at night again. It's still very warm here. I'm out here in a t-shirt after the sun goes down. So that's pretty impressive right there already. I'm not sure if you see it here or not because the flag's not waving, but the flag pulls right there center of the screen and it said half staff again today or half mask wonder why it's a beautiful night out here this is their fall season this is what we get in october or early october in manitoba they're just getting it now in early november i wish we had a longer summer season like this Look at these trees, they still all have all their leaves on them, but they are brown here. They're not green like they were in Georgia. And if you look closely, right between those trees there, there's Mars. Got a long way to go yet, Diesel. Long way to go. So how's everybody out there doing? How you guys handling everything? 
The world hasn't gotten any less crazy, has it? <laughs> That's okay. We live for craziness. Keeps everything interesting. Lisa, what do you think? About another, uh, let's see, how many more hours do we have left today? Oh, six hours. We have another six hours available to drive diesel. And I was watching yesterday's vlog after I posted it today. And once it gets uploaded to YouTube, for some reason, YouTube darkens everything so much. All of those shots at night, especially around where we were switching trailers, crystal clear on my computer and on my camera. As soon as it goes onto YouTube, it changes and you can't see anything. I was very frustrated with how that turned out. So I guess I'll do less filming at night like I just did here because, well, YouTube doesn't let you see it anyways. I'll try my best. I'll see what I can do and work with lighting. It'd be nice if I had a big light on top of this GoPro, right? I'm sure I could buy one. There's parts for this all over the internet. I could probably get one. But uh, for now, I guess there won't be too much, uh, too much filming until the end of the day. Which when we start our day so late makes the vlog so short. I hate that. We'll see. Just wanted to acknowledge that. I, I did see your comments. It was pretty dark. But I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. I mean, did the best I could. I realized I realized it and nothing I could do. But I, I can't control the sun. I've tried. I've tried. But I, I don't have any goats to sacrifice to the gods to make the sun stop. So that's a problem. I can't make the sun stop. Diesel. What are you talking about goats for, man? Hey, Siri. I was just kidding. I was kidding, Diesel. We're not actually going to sacrifice a goat. That's not the way it works, man. You, you sounded pretty convincing, man. I know. That's why people never know when I'm joking and when I'm serious. <laughs> but seriously, if we can make the sun stop in the sky, stay up a little longer, or stop the tilt of the earth, so that it's always summertime in the northern hemisphere, like all the time. I guess we'd have to stop the orbit of the Earth for that to happen, but keep the rotation. If everything they tell us about space is true. Somebody's getting a spanking. But a very bad boy. What town are we coming into here? I think this is what, Peoria, Illinois? Uh oh. Saw you speeding past me before, bud. Uh oh. Busted. Well, we're coming into some kind of city here right now, anyway. I figured I'd uh, strap you in my head before I got to the city here so that when I got to you, I could talk to you for a little bit. Got to you, got to the city. Because. Everything's dark outside. I can't just show you guys the darkness of the countryside. Look at this bridge way up there. Can you see that? Is that showing up? I can't tell what's showing up. It's so frustrating. The sun goes down so early. There's a big downtown coming up here. What is this? Is Peoria that big? We're like in the middle of uh, sort of like north central Illinois. Hey bud, what town is this? No? Okay. It's not talking to me. It's been a good night of driving so far. I have two hours and five minutes remaining that I can drive tonight yet. I want to get as far as possible. We have 1,362 kilometers to the border. Like I said, we're not going to quite make it there tomorrow yet. But we'll get close. We'll get close. these highway systems you know the United States they know how to build freeway systems like I am hashtag impressed every time I'm here every time even like our our populated areas like Toronto and like Quebec the 401 that the corridor there even those freeways don't really stand up to these freeways man these things must be expensive can only imagine oh a bridge hey this is fun Let's go over the water. What is it? Yeah, Peoria. It says next seven exits. Okay. Look at that. It's got like blue and red lights. I like it when they light up the bridges like that. It looks nice. It's kind of cool. 
See, there's a big downtown over there. Yes, I rolled on my window. See that? It's a big downtown. Peoria is a much bigger city than I remember. And I've been through here many times. So one great thing about this job though is that it's always something new, right? You have your high beams on, my friend. High beams! Turn your high beams off. Crying out loud. Driving through the city. There's downtown. Very nice. Beautiful. Beautiful cities. It's one thing I never understood. How people can drive with their high beams on in traffic. I mean, do you, do you not look down at your dashboard? There's this big bright blue thing, this big bright blue light glaring at you. That means you're blinding everybody. Yeah. Oh well, what can you do? Like I said, not everybody thinks driving is an art form. A lot of people just get their license just to get from point A to point B. They really don't care. They don't care at all. Look at this hospital, all lit up like that. Wow, they made the whole building glow. Unity Point Health, Methodist. Look at that. That is awesome. That looks cool. boys and girls out of the darkness here is going to be a rest area we're on interstate 80 westbound now at des moines i believe no davenport sorry davenport iowa so we're a few miles down the road from the world's largest truck stop we'll maybe stop in there tomorrow and say hello for tonight i want to see if i can find a private spot here let's see I think I can park at the back here, but I'll be leaning the wrong way then. My head will be at lower than my feet. I don't like that idea. I guess I could just face the other way. Unless this is an open spot. Ha <laughs> ha! It's good to be back in the upper northern Midwest again. Pull right in here. Look at this, parking. Now this is, this feels more like home when you can find a parking spot at night. Right on. And that's it folks. We'll see you tomorrow.